I'm gonna say at this point, if you aren't dancing in the aisle because gears aren't just doing things, man, your wood must be wet. This should be lighting a fire on you, come on. Okay, so the last thing I wanna talk about here with uh, our special types of gears are worm gears. And I've made a little worm gear system here. There's a small worm gear there and a big gear, 40 tooth gear. And what that means is I have a, I have to turn this crank 40 times just to make one revolution. And that's good, bad, and different, all the same things uh, rolled into one. Uh, so what this is nice is when I grab this big gear, I cannot, I'll break my Lego thing first, uh, but I cannot make this turn because it's just going to shove up into the end here. It's, they're locked together, all right? This would be a 40 to 1 ratio. Generally about uh, 15 to 1, you are you're basically just you're, you're, you're self-locking at that point. Uh, under that, depending on uh, gear lubrication and uh, the mechanical advantages, you may be able to get some movement from uh, this gear to the worm gear. So this gear right here is a single indexing uh, system. Uh, it only has one set of thread going around it. Um, so with every turn, I only move one tooth. And that same uh, one, two, almost three teeth here that are engaged, and that's pretty good, um, are the same three teeth uh, of that worm gear that are always engaged. Uh, so what we want to do is consider other options. So you can have double or even triple indexing uh, threads here. So here I've got a triple indexing thread drawn. And imagine um, if you were on a spiral staircase and you went up, uh, but uh, right above you there was a, another one, uh, a different stairway, and then on top of that was another one. So there's three stairways spiraling up at the same time. Uh, I guess a good example of this would be the double helix in uh, DNA. Uh, you have essentially two spiraling staircases going up uh, at all times. All right, so this is the same thing. You can trace the blue line here. It's, you're going you're gonna to see it on the front and then on the back. It's going to be a dashed line. And then again on the front and uh, back on the back. But I've got two other teeth, the green tooth and the red tooth, all sitting there. So what it means is, is now instead of indexing one tooth, I index three for every revolution. So I've sped up my, my ratio, which you know improves velocity. And as long as I'm still above that 15 to one uh, ratio, uh, shouldn't be a problem for uh, locking this. Uh, and man, worm gears are everywhere. Uh, you see them in a lot of gearboxes where uh, you don't want the, uh, the pinion to move. You want it to be self-locking. Uh, a uh, winch for uh, like lifting materials, uh, worm gear, because it's self-locking at that point. Um, <clears throat> uh, some worm gears even have brakes in them, so as soon as uh, like hydraulic pressure to move it is applied, uh, it'll unlock, and then you can you can do, uh, do your stuff, and then it's self-locking, and then you have a brake on top of that. Uh, another application would be uh, like a crane rotation. Um, but there, you can do several different types of things. You can do a uh, planetary gear uh, gearbox, or you can do a worm gear gearbox. All right. So uh, the other thing about worm gears is they're the actual worm gear part uh, is is different in profile. So it'll still be round, and you're still going to interface. But if you look at the ends of the threads or the teeth. All right, they're kind of going to be hobbled out like this, and you'll have your your diameter in there such that uh, I'm going to draw the worm gear in there. You know, it's going to be right there. Uh, so just a, a different profile. They're they're specialized gears. You can't just uh, like you can in Legos. I mean, this is just a regular spur gear right here. Uh, but you can't really just mate that with a worm gear in uh, real life in, in industry. Okay, well thank you for watching this video on worm gears and we uh, hope you stay tuned for the next one.